chance for Japan to medal twice in the team competition this morning in Shanghai. But first things first, let's go to the women's team gold medal match. And this will be a chance for the hometown fans to get excited because it's China taking on Colombia. Colombia, the third seeded team, blanked Poland this week, then got a four set win over Mongolia before winning a shoot off against Japan. So let's take a look at the three archers representing Colombia. And it's a strong contingent. Ana Maria Rendon, Natalia Sanchez, and Mayra Alejandra Sepulveda from Colombia. Shooting here in soggy Shanghai where the wind has died down. Just a little bit of a wisp of a wind blowing right now. Now the team from China, seated first. What a week they've had. Mm. Had a 6-2 win over Kazakhstan, a 5-4 win over the Russian Federation, and then a 5-4 win over North Korea. And you can hear the crowd already, Crispin, getting fired up for this match. Well, I hope they're fired up. I know that the Chinese take great pride in their sports teams, and uh, we've got three great shooters here to show Team China, or show, show China that Team China is one of the best in the world. Cheng Ming, Fang Yuting, and Zhu Jing, three excellent archers taking on three very good ones from Colombia. Ana Maria Rendon, Natalia Sanchez, and Mayra Alejandra Sepulveda. So final instructions from the judges, the crowd settling in, eager anticipation here on the River Boulevard as we get set for the gold medal match. Once again, the world record, 231 points. Unfortunately, the world record doesn't matter anymore because it is set place. It so is the world play. record is now archived and there forever. So South Korea will be on the board forever. Exactly. I've got a couple of those records myself, so I'm very happy that those records are staying put. <laughs> <laughs> Not world records, but uh, records in Canada and uh, various, various other places around the states. China shooting first and shooting well. So a good start for China. It's a very pink setup. She's missing a pink sight. <laughs> yeah, pink gets the it job all done. It works, though. Yeah, it does. Whatever the color, that worked mm -hmm. for Zhu Jing. Here's a white setup. <laughs> so two nines and a ten. So the interesting thing that I wanted to mention about Colombia is they we've got three very strong shooters from Colombia here, but they're all wearing sunglasses. And that to me is a little surprising just because it's raining out. And because it's raining out, anybody who wears glasses on a regular basis will know that water sticks to lenses. And if you know the way light bends, if you have water and light going through water, it actually bends your image. So it'll be interesting to see how Columbia deals with that. Unless these lenses are making, that's uh, way out to the right. Unless these lenses are making everything brighter for them and making colors you know, pop and make everything sh sharper. Uh, these, the sunglasses could be a detriment to the, the archers. And they all started out right. So far they have not helped the team from Columbia. Now we won't, I won't, credit that just to the sunglasses themselves. It could just be the, the way the practice field was in relation to this field. Eight. First time outside the yellow rings for China. That's another eight. Eight. So another thing that's interesting on the field of play is once you see these archers get to full draw, any recurve archer knows that you have to get through the clicker to make the shot. But if you listen carefully, there's cameras going off. Now this is Fang Yuting, 24 years old, the team silver medalist in London with a strong shot to finish off that, uh, that set. I was going to say end, <laughs> excuse me. So the reason why I mentioned the cameras is because those are clicking noises and some archers get their adrenaline going and their awareness becomes a lot higher. And that's off screen. Sepulveda, 18 years old. I think they might have said five for that shot. We're just gonna back out the camera here and see where it is. There it is, down on the lower left portion of your screen. Mm -hmm. 
And Miss Sanchez has removed her sunglasses. That's interesting. So already discarding this, the sunglasses, as does Ana Maria Rendon. Mm -hmm. So another thing that you have to remember when you're shooting through sunglasses is that because you're looking through a lens, that's a good shot. There we go. Good decision. Yes. <laughs> I can see clearly now. <laughs> The glasses are gone, but that's uh, when you're looking through glasses and you look at them through an angle. You have something called refraction and diffraction, and light bends at different ways when you're looking through a lens sideways. If you're not looking through it directly at perpendicular at 90 degrees, then you're going to see a distorted image of what's downrange. Combined with the water that's on the lens, could have made their sight picture very difficult to see, or in fact very different than what they were seeing before. So I think it was a good move on Team Columbia to uh, put the sunglasses off the eyes, put it on top of the visors, and continue on. Make the adjustments. Mm -hmm. And the only harm is they gave up two set points to China, so China takes a 2-0 lead. Not an insurmountable lead by any stretch of the imagination. Of course, we haven't mentioned the fact that if it's tied, we'll, we also go to a shoot-off. That's right. So if, they, if, each tie, if each team gets four set points, in four sets, so that would that would be that would be considered a tie in regulation shooting. So that tie would go to the the same tie break way that they've done it before. Is uh, each archer shoots one arrow at the middle, or hopefully at the middle, and um, that's the idea. Yeah, that is. <laughs> and the team with the higher score wins. And if the score is tied, then the single the arrow the team with the single arrow closest to the center will take the match. Again, that's low left, so. Ms. Sepulveda, 18 years old. That could be showing her in her, um, showing how green she is on one of these field of plays because once you start to get a little tight or once you start to get a little nervous, sometimes low. Pardon? You shoot low? Yeah, you can start shooting low left, uh, especially on a right-handed recurve because of your front arm. Suddenly your bow feels a little heavier mm -hmm. and your, uh, your alignment starts to get a little off. So your, that's an eight, there it is. And your, you start to drop your bow arm diagonally low left on a right-handed shooter. And that's exactly what it's showing there. I had a little bit of that problem too. I'm not gonna say I'm perfect. I had that problem in my matches here, but uh, luckily I, my bow weight was high enough, and I've had a little bit more experience than Miss Sepulveda that my low left arrows were eights or nines. So it's, it's something that she's got to learn at this stage of competition. Zhu Jing shooting now, seventh in the world rankings, and she fires up an eight. A young lady who earned the uh, silver and a mixed team gold medal in Medellin last summer. Captured a team silver medal in London at the last Olympiad. And Cheng Ming, or excuse me, Feng Yuting. Now Cheng Ming. Cheng Ming was second. Oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, no, she was first. First. She yes. was first. So watch the bow arm. Let's see if she does it. it dropped a little low left, but it was a it was much, much after the shot. So that was a better shot. I think it's a, a great match to see here. The uh, uh, current World Cup team versus the next location's World Cup team, because the next location is going to be in Colombia. So it's kind of a face-off between yes. the, the two stages. Looking forward to Medellin next month. Rendon, who finished 16th in Beijing back in 2008. So a score of 50 for Colombia here in this set. It was a very quick shot, but it was a 10. So no hesitation for Cheng Ming. And uh, it's a lot of time to give her, her teammates get up to the line and just do their shot. I'm sure Zhu Jing and Fang Yuting appreciate that. Zhu Jing. He won a team bronze medal in Antalya two years ago. Nice shot right there. I said that was a 10, but I think I saw it land in the 9. Table is set for Feng Yuting, the 24-year-old. Oh, 
So very, very good shooting by China right now. And the host nation shooting well and taking a four to nothing lead in this match. But still an opportunity. And again, we get back to the set system, the beauty of it. Still an opportunity for the ladies from Columbia to get back into this, but they've got to do it one step at a time. They need to outright win the next two sets in order to force the tie. If they tie with Columbia in a set, then the game is over. Oh, sorry, if they tie with China in the set, then the game is over and China will win because it's a race to five, not six. So Columbia needs to win these next two sets. If you're just joining us in the women's bronze medal match, it was Japan knocking off North Korea six to two. And coming up immediately after this women's gold medal match, we'll have the men's bronze and gold matches as well. And we'll see a team from Japan once again coming out trying to win some medals here in Shanghai. As Columbia trailing will shoot first. Mayra Alejandra Sepulveda, who came close to meddling on Colombia's women's team in Medellin. They finished sixth. And she comes up with a score of eight. <laughs> Natalia Sanchez, 30 years old, looking for her first World Cup medal. That's an eight just low. Eight. Colombia needs to start shooting golds to put the pressure on China. That's a strong shot. Yep, there it is. Ana Maria Rendon. I think she's shooting one of the higher bow weights of the women on the field of play. She's small. What would you guess? I, I asked her. So um, when I shot with her last month, she said that she's shooting 47 pounds. Mm. I know some men that shoot 47 pounds, but she's <laughs> she's really pulling back hard on that string. So she's got one of the advantages on the field of play as having a higher bow weight for her class, which uh, lets the arrow spend less time in the air. Gets it's there faster. Gets there faster. The string comes out of her fingers faster. So less susceptible to the wind. Exactly. So it's less susceptible to everything all around. Uh, versus a, a lower bow weight, but uh, I mean again you have to be able to hold that back and control it So no matter how high you put your bow weight if you can't control the bow weight that's a shot. Beautiful shot by Feng Yu Ting the bronze medalist in Torino three years ago at the world championships Sepulveda trying to get dialed in And low again low left that's an eight or seven. That'd be really close to call, but mm -hmm. spotters are calling it an eight, and they probably have a better vantage point than we do. Natalia Sanchez. A little bit. She wasn't as clean off the string as I've seen her do before, so that would explain why that arrow is a little low. And now the 2008 Pan Am champion, Ana Maria Rendon, wide to the right. So 51 points for that set for Colombia, and China has, well, China has a very good chance of tying right now. And there's Cheng Ming, the gold medalist from Istanbul Eight. World Cup Finals in 2011. Just caught it. And and there's seven to win. There it is. Yep. I know we were trying to do the math in our minds. Yeah. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> so Feng Yu Ting. And there's an eight. And China and takes eight. it. So China wrapping up the gold medal in the women's team competition. 
in straight sets at that. An impressive performance. Well, I think Colombia will just have to take this and use it as fodder for the next team rounds that they'll face China in, in Medellin in about three weeks' time. But congratulations to Team China being able to do this on home turf, showing everybody what uh, what type of athlete, athletes we have on the field. So a great performance in front of their fans here in Shanghai. Congratulations to Cheng Ming, Feng Yuting, and Zhu Jing, who were strong right from the get-go, won all three sets, and they blank Columbia six to nothing is the score in this women's team gold medal match. So China takes gold, Colombia takes silver, and Japan settles for the bronze medal. And a proud moment for these archers and their coach. Fans turned out, and they were not disappointed by the performance of the Chinese team. Oh, one more picture. <laughs> just one more. Yeah. Just one more. I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of pictures taken as the winds seem to be picking up just a little bit now here on the River Boulevard. But the sky's lifting a little bit.